time for Doc Talk, and we are joined now by Dr. Hawk, who is the ge- one of the general surgeons at Woodlawn Hospital. Good morning. Good morning. How are you doing today? Very well. Yourself? Uh, can't complain. Um, it's warmer than it was this time a week ago, so I- I'm happy with that. Yes, it's going to get warmer. I know. I'm looking forward to it. Uh, talking close to 50 degrees by the end of the week. Yes, sir. So, well, Dr. Hawk, I, I was looking over some notes here, and uh, you have quite an interesting story. Why don't you tell everybody about that? <laughs> oh, wow, uh, that's quite the challenge. Well, um, I came to America more than 30 years ago. I was not born here. Uh, I was educated here. Um, my parents are both doctors, and I, I promised that I would never be a doctor, but you know, when you make a promise like that, God smiles, and here I am, a surgeon. <laughs> yeah. So, um, and I always wanted to be a rural surgeon. My father was a rural physician, and I enjoyed watching his career. So anybody who knew me uh, in medical school for two weeks knew that I was going to be a rural surgeon. And it looks like uh, you went to New York Medical College. Yes, I did. I- I'm originally from New York. Um, I went to medical school there. And then I've, I've been progressively moving west. I went to uh, Pennsylvania for residency, and then here I am in Indiana to pursue my practice. Now, uh, we were talking a little bit off the air. Um, your first hospital in Indiana was in Portland? Yes, <clears throat> yes. It was, uh, it was a rural practice very similar to uh, Woodlawn Hospital. And then uh, the hospital was acquired by another hospital and uh, a number of services were shut down, prompting me to move to Ohio. But I always wanted to move or live in Indiana. In fact, my family always, uh, my family never moved to Ohio. So uh, uh, I'm very glad to be back in Indiana and here in Woodlawn and in Rochester. Yeah, and uh, one of the interesting things is uh, you are still currently serving as a major in the United States Army Medical Corps. Yes, indeed, indeed. Um, you know, that, that's that's something I take a great deal of pride in. Um, I came to this country with next to nothing, and uh, a lot of good things has happened to me because of the generosity of American people and this country. And um, in fact, the, the military made it possible for me to go to medical school. They paid for medical school. So uh, it's very, very sm- uh, my, my small contribution to this society, to this great country. Well, thank you for uh, serving this country. Yeah, I got to do it. Um, now, you came to Woodlawn just this year. So have you liked everything so far? Yes, yes, very much so, uh, particularly in the summer. <laughs> um, the lake is beautiful and people are very friendly and so far I've thoroughly enjoyed interacting with the hospital staff and, and patients. Uh, in particular, uh, my staff, um, the OR team and my clinic team, they're very, very uh, dedicated folks and they, they really make a tremendous amount of sacrifice to make sure that I get my job done. Now. Um with general surgeon, that covers a lot of territory. So what are some of the services you offer? So that's a very good point. And uh, that also harkens back to the reason why I practice rural general surgery. Um, if you practice in a big city, um, you only get to practice a very small niche of your training. Even though you're very trained, and you're very well trained to provide a certain line of service, you. Uh, you're limited in your practice because they sit with so many physicians. Uh, I practice classical general surgery where I do full spectrum of abdominal uh, <coughs> and soft tissue surgeries. Um, and in my previous practice, I've even done certain uh, uh, ENT and uh, gynecological procedures. So uh, uh, it all depends on what the community needs. Okay. All right. And um, I know over the last year, year and a half, Woodlawn has uh, made some very large strides in um, bettering the services they have to offer as well as uh, the technology that they use. Um, Have you enjoyed using the technology that Woodlawn has to offer? Oh, very much so. Uh, Yes, uh, the technology is wonderful, but what I would really like to speak of is the people. Um, You know, when I was looking for a job, uh, 
and Wulong was one of the places I was looking for a place where I would retire from. So I took a lot of care in speaking to the people and learning the hospital system, including the technology. And I was thoroughly impressed how dedicated these folks were at remaining independent and serving the community and acquiring new technology. You know, for a hospital this size to be a rural hospital and to have a robot to be able to do robotic surgery, that's really impressive. And uh, it shows the commitment of the hospital to serve its community. Now we've heard um, over the year having the robotic surgery that there is a uh, ongoing training with this. So what is that training like? The technology is always evolving, research is always evolving, techniques are always evolving. Um, and to, be, to remain proficient, one must, especially in surgery, one must uh, practice techniques and improve his techniques and always go back and learn uh, new procedures and new methodologies. So I would say not just the robot, but in particular the robot and other surgical techniques. It's a lifetime of improving one's skills and knowledge. Okay. And um, there's something in the notes that I have here uh, that we don't see with uh, a lot of doctors, at least I personally don't. Um, not only are you caring for your patients, but you also enjoy American history and farming technology. Yes, yes. Um, I was actually one of the higher scoring students in my high school. You know, in New York State, there's a particular qualification you have to do to pass high school. It's called the Regents exam. And I did very well in my American history Regents, which surprised my teachers because I was only here for a year. But I, I find the history of this country so fascinating and uh, just so diverse. I relate to it very well. I, I, I felt immediately at home when I came to this country, and uh, I love farming. Uh, I don't know what about it draws. You know, I'd rather go to a tractor and engine show or anything else. <laughs> uh, that's why I live in Indiana, I suppose. So um, let's kind of uh, compare medical technology and farming technology. How are they similar and how are they different? Well, let me, let me speak answer that question by describing experience. So, you know, as a family, we take vacations to farms, believe it or not. We go, okay. we go visit working farms, and my kids and I, you know, we, you know, they help with the farm. There are such places where you can take vacation in a farm. Okay. It's like a bed and breakfast, but in a farm. <laughs> and one time we went to this goat farm, and it was amazing. The, the disease processes that were, the, the farmers were describing to me, I was, and, and I was new at farming at that time, and he was describing mastitis of the goats, or the newborn goats which couldn't swallow, and he had to put a tube down the nose into the stomach to feed the goats. Oh, wow. So this farmer, in many ways, was a primary care doctor for his, and a surgeon too, for his yeah. animals. And uh, of course, he didn't know the technology, he didn't understand the terminology, but the, the way he was describing, it was clear to me that he had, had a good understanding of the biological process. So, um, yeah, a farmer, suppose, I suppose a farmer tends to his animals the way we tend to people. You know? All right. So, um, definitely uh, a wide variety of things that you do, from serving to general surgery to farming. Yeah, well... I would not call myself a farmer. I, I, I'm just I, an observer of farming. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think uh, I think we all are a little bit, but I think you have a better understanding of it than I do. So, uh, Dr. Yes. Hawk, I want to take this time to thank you for coming to Woodlawn Hospital. Um, it seems like your expertise is going to be uh, greatly appreciated here, and I know we uh, always enjoy getting doctors who want to be a part of the community and uh, look to retire from Woodlawn. Oh, thank you so much for having me and giving me a chance to speak. Um, I am honored to have the privilege to serve these people. Well, you're always welcome, uh, not only at Woodlawn, but uh, you're always welcome here at the radio station as well. Anytime you want to come in and chat and maybe sometime we'll sit down and talk American history. Yeah, we will. <laughs> All right. Yes. All right, Dr. Hawk, thank you so much for coming in and uh, we'll talk again soon. Thank you, sir, for your time. Thanks, sir.